I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. How did you feel about Big Rami winning? I, I, have you been following the Olympia uh, last year? Yeah. How do you feel about Big Rami winning? And what do you feel like is going to be the future of Mr. Olympia going forward? Hmm. The future? Nobody really knows the future. Um, Big Rami's a good dude, man. That is one of the most humble guys I think I've ever met. That guy, when I met him, he's met me. <laughs> and I laughed at him. You know, he's like, why are you laughing? I was like, man, big as you is, you ain't got to. He's a humble guy, that guy. He's just a he's a big teddy bear. I like Rami. Um, yeah, when he won, what can you say about that? You know, you, you could have flipped them, those places around, and nobody's going to complain because the top five guys are in really, really good shape. You know, they had a little bit of everything. Rami just, Rami just had a combination of everything on that day and put it together right, and he, he came out on top. Had a lot of muscle. He was dense. He was conditioned. You know, he wasn't having no, no waist wasn't sticking out nowhere. He had good taper. And what can you say about that guy? He overpowered everybody. You know, turned around, glutes was in, times was in, shredded glutes. I mean, he wasn't missing anything. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm cool with that. Mr. Olympia, Mr. Olympia. Do you feel like there was going to be, because uh, Rami is big, right? Like, if, if you look at your era, you got Ronnie Coleman, who was the biggest, right? Or, or at least, well, Marcus Fool was huge, too. Paul Dillette was huge, right? But, like, right now, Rami is so big. So for a smaller guy to beat Rami is going to be challenging, unless Rami is off and they come in super conditioned. And they're going to have to outpose him. You know what I mean? They're going to have to be able to present better. They're going to have to make things happen when he moves. You know, as long as Ronnie, Rami, I keep saying Ronnie, Rami stays on his game. Uh, he comes in with great condition and he doesn't get too far out there, making his waist get blocky or anything like that. He should be okay. He should, he should be able to win a few. If he tries to maybe put on more size and it starts to distort, distort, distort his uh, symmetry, he gonna get his, he, he can he can lose it, you know. Because once you be once a thing I know about history, um, the Mr. Olympias are hard to knock off the hill. They have to be off off, like they got to be because if you're not gonna if they're a little bit off, they, that doesn't mean they're gonna lose. So you have to knock them out in order to get that position. You gotta knock them out. There's no oh if it's close, it's gonna be rhyming. But if a guy dominates Rami, it doesn't have to just be with size. It could just be with his shape and symmetry. It could be with a combination of uh, his muscle density and the fullness. And, you know, if a, if a shredder flex wheeler goes up there with that physique like that, he's going to beat Rami. Because Rami, it's, it's an apple and an orange. he got two different physiques. You know, Rami has a combination of everything for right now. So the question is, is he going to be able to repeat that same physique or make it better? bigger more round with better shape and symmetry without distorting it can do that that's the question that should be asked it's real challenging and i'm glad i ain't got to do it <laughs>